Closing time, viewers, so uh, I'm going to make a very quick and uh, cursory viewing of an exhibition by Inca S. and High. Boy, is it loud in here. This is a series of her new works on paper, so paintings on paper, titled Comet Dust and Crystal Shards. And uh, it's winding down, maybe things will quiet down a little bit. This piece is titled Electric Underground 2014 and it's oil on paper, 81 by 51 inches. And, uh, well, initially I came in here and I uh, thought this might be pastel. You know, some of this has a kind of uh, even an Art Nouveau sense of the uh, swerving lines and uh, even that color sense. Kind of uh, something out of another era. has decided to do some very uh, large and ambitious paintings on paper. It's titled City Blossom Diptych. And actually, uh, I think this is kind of a, uh, an interesting uh, evolution of the work. Uh, I remember the first uh, paintings by Inca that I saw were very much uh, involved with the uh, enamel surface, very shiny. And uh, this uh, is dealing with a different kind of a little drier surface. And uh, I think that gives her a chance to really play with the colors. I think you get a little better read of the colors if they're a little drier. It's titled Aquarius. So I wonder if that's a sweep of the Milky Way across there. The form of these boulders here on the side is very nice. Nice brushwork. This piece is big. This is uh, 84 by 52 each panel. So I would say that's probably about uh, 12, 14 feet long. Another large triptych. And uh, I've got another forest gnome. 
Kind of little fawn or something. This tree is uh, full of real nice uh, abstract shapes and linear action going on here. And uh, it seems like Inca is really tapping into a kind of a mythological fairy world. Some kind of secret world that's beneath the surface of normal reality, maybe. She does a great uh, fade with her uh, atmospheric skies, and uh, it's nice the way she's able to uh, imply a whole, uh, whole bunch of greenery with just a few uh, nicely placed strokes of paint. This is a smaller piece, Star Maker. And, uh, I'm going to take a little closer look at some of the rendering. the uh, surrealistic, uh, almost face-like forms coming out of this flame. Let's look at what they've got in the back room. Well, I don't see the titles of these listed. And uh, well, these are... Uh, regular paintings on canvas oil, so uh, this may not be part of the, the show in the main gallery, but there's her little forest gnome again with the fireflies. I think he's a pretty good technician. This is a beautiful piece. And I would say that this is probably about uh, 60 by 54, something like that. Five by four and a half feet. This her uh, series of uh, grays fading into yellow is very nice. Well, this has been a quick walk through of Ink Essen High. Comet dust and crystal shards at the new Jacob Lewis Gallery here on 26th Street. Thank you, Kate. Glass Oaks. Is that you guys? Yeah, it's us. Thank you. That was nice. Yeah, please take a CD.